Hello and welcome to this video. So I'm going to take you through how to update main to the latest version, HB main to the latest version, update your ROMs, your CHDs for both HB main and main, and also how to create some XML files for Hyperspin for both of those applications. So first of all, um, what I need in my armory, I need my update file. So I've got my HB main update ROMs. Um, currently running 2 2 version 228 for HB MAME and MAME here. Um, so I'm going to be updating to 229, then updating to uh, 229 to 230, and I'll be doing uh, MAME CHDs and ROMs. And also here I've got the applications, and I'll be updating the necessary files that I need to apply these updates. And I'll be showing you through the websites of where to get these applications from as well. I won't be showing you where to get these update ROMs and CHDs. Um, that is for you to find out yourself with Google. Okay, so let's get started. So first of all, um, let's have a look at my um, at MAME. So I use MAME UI for my MAME. Um, just historically I have. Um, so... I've got both versions of MAME and MAME UI on here. Um, one of the applications that I'm using prefers to use MAME rather than MAME UI, so I do have them both downloaded, so I update them. Now, during this video, I'll be doing a few things the way that I do them. I'm not saying it's the right way to do it, but it works. Um, so if you want to follow along or you want to customise it to how you do things, that's absolutely fine. Um, so if you want to put comments about, oh, you've done it wrong, but... I've, this is the way that I've done it for a few years now, and it works, so I'm happy with it. So I'm just sharing what I know. So um, I've got MAME. Sorry, I meant to leave that open. I've got MAME UI version 228 on here. Okay. I've also got MAME on here. MAME 228 on here as well. Okay. And I've got HB MAME here. So I'm on HB MAME 227. So this is going to have to be updated to 228, 229, and 230 with regards to ROMs. So I'll take you through how to do that. So I've left it a couple of months um, to do this update because um, when I started my first big update of MAME, I think I had version 164. Uh, a 182 actually, I had 182 and I realised that I was way, way behind. I just hadn't really updated and I thought, I've got a bit of time on my hands. Why why don't I spend a bit of time trying to get up to date and um, get everything uh, up to the latest version? So I found a few YouTube videos. I had to use three or four different YouTube videos to get to learn how to do this. Um, and I said to myself, at some point, why don't I make a video? On how I do it and how I've learned how to do it and try and collate all of those things together so here we are so um, first thing we're going to do is update our applications so let's start with MAME okay so MAME I've got here this is my MAME 228 we looked at a minute ago um, I've downloaded um, the latest MAME application so the latest MAME application I have got from here so mamedev.org Go to Downloads and Latest Release, and I've downloaded this 64-bit version here. Okay, so um, that's this file here. Now it comes as an execute. That is actually a compressed um, package. Uh, it's not an executable as such. Um, so if you've got 7-zip installed or WinRAR, you can right-click, and then you can choose to expand to... A certain folder which I'm going to do here. So I'm going to do extract to MAME 230B 64 bit and speed up this bit of the video. So it's a very easy process to update your um, MAME application. This is my uncompressed folder and you'll see they look quite similar. There's less files in here than there are in here. All I need to do is select all of these, drag and drop into my MAME folder. And Windows is going to have a little look through what I'm doing. Uh, and in a minute, it's going to come up and say this. The destination has a certain amount of files already. Um, replace files within this destination. Yes, because it's going to replace them with updated files. Okay. 
and there we go that has been updated now anything that's already in these folders it will still be in the folders it's just going to add any updated items okay so let's update my HB main so again I've got a compressed folder here let's right click extract to and I'm going to speed up this bit of the video while that's going um, let's have a look where I got HB main application from I got that from Progetto Snaps, uh, Italy, Italian um, website, everything you need for kind of MAME and things like that. Um, so MAME UI is here, and they've got a history of all the versions you can download on here. A great website for resources. I used this a lot when I was doing my uh, learning about how to do updates of MAME and HB MAME and all of those things as well. And we're going to need it later on for some resources. So that's happened. Here's my expanded folder. Let's open that. Again, same thing. I'm going to select all of this and drop it onto my HB main master folder and speed up this bit of the video. And here we go. Replace the files. Yep, it's replacing it with updates. And there we go. Lastly, let's do main UI. So this is my main UI folder here. Applications got main UI 64 right click and extract speed up this bit of the video okay so that's done main UI um, yep double click on that not much in here we're gonna pick all of this up and we're gonna drop this onto here says four minutes it won't take four minutes let's speed up this bit of the video anyway and that's done <clears throat> okay so my, all my applications are now updated okay now let's update our ROMs okay so let's go back to here and we're going to go to main it's the first one we're going to update so the application we're going to use to update is called um, CLR main pro or clear main pro Okay, uh, this is where I got HB MAME application from. Sorry, uh, HB MAME was also from Bogetto Snaps as well. Uh, you find it in the side panel column here. So CLR MAME Pro, um, you can get from MAME Dev, emulab.it. Again, the Italians are at it again, which is great. Um, I'll put all these links in the uh, description down below as well of where to get them from. So whenever I update my ROMs or my applications, I'm always going to be looking for the latest version to make sure that I'm not missing out on any updates or anything like that. Um, so this is the application we're going to use to update the ROMs. So how do we do that? Let's have a look. So I'm going to search here. I'm going to do CLR main pro. And here we go. So the first thing that opens up will be the profiler. Okay. If I close that, this little thing will come up here. This is the actual CLR main pro application. Um, so the profiler here is how we, it's the first thing that opens, we can build a profile of the updates we're going to do, okay? Now I'm going to do it step by step, as if I was going one version up, okay? Um, we can jump a few versions, but, um, well let me just take you through it. I might change my mind as I go, um, kind of winging it a little bit. Um, so we're going to create, and the file name, okay? So. This is asking for us our execute file and syntax. So the syntax is the name that's going to be here. So it's looking for the emulator that is MAME here. Okay. So let me just co click on there and copy. Command C, Control C. Sorry, my Mac coming out. And we're going to click on here and we're going to paste. And then we'll scroll down to MAME 64 or MAME, doesn't matter. Uh, oh, it does actually. We're going to have the most up to date one. Here we go. That is the most up to date. What is that older file? Let's double click that one. Okay, description. And what is this going to be called? Okay, what's this profile going to be called? So I'm going to call it MAME update update. And let's jump actually. Let's let's jump. Let's do it. The process is the same. We're going to say 228 to 230. Create profile. having a little think uh, where would you like to save it in the profiles folder 
Yeah, that's fine. Nothing's happened. Okay, we've got a profile here. We can double click it. Um, it's going to come up here. Database update. A database update is required. CLR main pro will now run this command. Main execute list XML. Okay. So what it's doing now, I double clicked that profile, is it's going, it's run a little command line, um, a little command via command line called main.execute list XML. And it's actually gone into main execute here. I'm going to delete this because I don't need that. It's gone into main execute here and it's run a little command so it can build up a database of how many ROMs are related to or included in MAME version 0.230. So software lists are detected. So this is the other side of MAME that's been going and kind of picking up a lot of speed over the years. MAME can now run Super Nintendo, Mega Drive, Apple II, um, and all these old kind of retro um, non-arcade um, consoles and computers and stuff like that. I'm not interested in MAME for that, okay? I just use it for arcade. So I don't want software lists, okay? I'm going to choose no because I'm just going to concentrate on arcade stuff. Okay, it's coming up here saying that Aaron Spelling 101, oh god, what's that? Beverly Hills 90210, never mind. Aaron Spelling 101, um, the alternative sample folder will be used for sample set. When it comes up to a DAT file problem, just choose OK to all, OK? It might come up with a something, here we go, it's another one saying, uh, alternative sample folder is useless, sample merge relationship will be removed, OK to all. Uh, OK to all. If you want to go through each one of these, click, 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 you will be here for an eternity. OK. So the profile is now done. The scan is now done. Okay, I'm going to go into the scanner and change a little setting because I used non-merged sets. The scan that just happened was the default scan, which is split sets. Okay, so I'm going to go to non-merged sets. Okay, let's go back. So we're going to close this, and we're going to go to settings, ROM paths. Add. Okay, my ROMs are in my ROMs folder. And we're going to go to main ROMs. Choose OK. It's going to take a while because in the main ROMs folder there are a lot of folders with all the CHDs and stuff. So Windows has a little bit of a kind of hang up um, when it's trying to open the main ROMs folder. That's why it's having this little kind of splashy, flashy circle crazy thing. There we go. That's the main ROM path set. I've got samples as well, so let's put samples in there as well. Okay, probably knows where it is already. Let's have a look. Main master samples. Okay. Um, anything else I can set? Okay, I don't use any of these things. So ROMs and samples. I'm not actually going to check my my samples. I'm just putting it in there so you can see how you can set other paths as well. Okay. One thing that's important actually: backup slash download made backups folder. So. When you do a ROM update with ClearMain Pro, um, what it's going to do is anything that it deletes, it won't actually delete it. It's going to put it in this backups folder onto your um, hard drive, wherever ClearMain Pro is. The more updates you do, the more stuff goes into the backups folder. It's going to start filling up quite quickly. So you need to manage it. Um, otherwise, your hard drive is going to fill up with ClearMain Pro backups over the year, basically. We're going to use that a little bit later as well. So we've set our ROM paths. So let's go back to the scanner. Okay. Remember, I was running MAME 228. Okay. The application it's going to be using is MAME 230. So if I do a scan, it's going to tell me everything that I'm missing. Okay. I've asked it to check missing things that have the wrong case, stuff that's unneeded, has the wrong name, the wrong size, the wrong date. Checksums are wrong. Here we go. We've got wrong names unneeded files that are in here. I've asked it to check samples. Meh, doesn't matter. Um, we've got sets, ROMs, samples and CHD. So I'm going to speed up this part of the video because it will take quite a long time. Okay, so that's finished. Um, when it finishes, you will get this 
Now it's not necessary to run this scan um, before you do an update. Um, I just did it to show you the process of what I've got missing. So I've got 2,170 ROMs missing, 44 CHDs missing, 136 samples missing, um, 141 sets missing, okay, so, and I've got a few other things. These are all zero, zero um, stuff that, that's wrong there, okay, so th there are issues, there's stuff missing, okay, um, and it took 15 minutes to do that scan. Again, you don't have to do that before you update, I just wanted to show you the process putting non-merged sets in here. Okay, let's close the scan results. Close the scanner. So we're going to do our update now for our ROMs. Um, don't need the profiler. Let's close that. We're going to go to Rebuilder. So make sure I've got non-merged sets here. Very important you do this here, okay? Destinations. So where are my ROMs stored? This is where I want my ROMs to end up, okay? When I put my ROM paths in earlier, that's going to be copied over to this destination here, okay? So folders, sources, this is where I'm going to get my updates from, so here, okay? Let's start with um, ROMs, 228 to 229. Let's just copy that path. Go back to CLR main pro. Let's add that. And let's can I paste in here? This is an old thing. I can. Awesome. Da -da -da. Um, so there's my path. Um and we are going to rebuild. So what it's doing now is it's going through this folder here and comparing it to the main list it created with that scan and it's adding stuff that's missing over 600 added already still going ding 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 okay that's done um 84 files within that folder analyzed 313 created 1407 files only skipped 95 so that's now updating my ROM to 229 um Let's go up to two to update ROMs two two nine to two thirty, and let's rebuild. You might see it hangs from time to time. Just sit back. Okay, that's done. So two hundred ninety nine files, two hundred twenty added. Okay. So that's my ROMs updated. Okay. What I always do, just to make sure nothing else is missing. Use backup path, rebuild as well. Sometimes ClearMain Pro will chuck a couple of things in the backup, um, but we want them back. So here we go. Look, it's created five. Let's grab five things from there that it needs as well. Okay, let's close the rebuilder. Now, when it comes to CHDs, I don't use ClearMain Pro to rebuild the CHDs. Um, what I do, and I got this from another YouTuber, um, is I go to CHD files. I'm going to go to my where my main ROMs are. Da -da. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take these files here and I'm just going to chuck them in my main ROMs folder. Now, what ClearMain Pro is going to do is it's going to look through this main ROMs folder and find anything that's in the wrong place. So the fact I'm chucking these CHDs in the wrong place means they're going to be found by CLR main Pro and they're going to be fixed. They're going to be put into the correct place. If a folder needs to be created, it will do that for me. Um, yeah, as I said, I got this from another YouTuber. Sorry, I cannot... Um, credit the person who I found that information from because I, it was a long time ago that I watched that YouTube video. I don't know who it was. So I'm just going to do this process. I'll speed up the video a little bit because it will take a while to copy over things. Um, as I'm going via USB, it's probably quicker if I do them one by one. So let's speed up the video. So that's all the 228 to 229s copied across. Update CHDs. <clears throat> let's do 229 to 230. 
Uh, so CHD means compressed hunk of data, or compressed hunks of data. It's a big file that's needed to run some main ROMs. Okay, so that's all copied across. Let's go back to Silar Main Pro, and we're going to go back to the scanner. Okay, so non-merge sets is the type that I use. I'm not going to do samples. I want to scan my sets, ROMs, and my CHDs. I want to fix everything, anything that's missing, anything that's in the wrong case, anything that's not needed, anything that's got the wrong name, anything that's the wrong size, anything that's the wrong date, for example. Anything that it renames, rather than permanently making a fix, what it's going to do is it's going to um, copy that into the backup folder and then make that change that we spoke about earlier. So this is set up. All my CHDs are in the wrong place. I've added all my new uh, updated ROMs using the rebuilder. And let's scan. So it's going to come up with a couple of things. Fix wrong D CHD or fix wrong CHD place. Okay. Uh, yes to all because I put them in the wrong place. Let's fix that. Can't move. Interesting. Let's see what happens with the others. I think I know might know what that problem is. Um, so do you want to rename the set? Yep. Yes to all. Um, do you want to remove this file? Yeah. I'm going to choose yes. 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 Uh, do you want to add the missing ROM? Yes, please. Okay. Oh, got another one. Uh, do you want to remove this file? Da -da 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 -da. Yeah. Remember, it's nothing permanent happening here. Anything that's been removed is going into that backups folder. So if I realize when this scans over that I've got stuff missing, um, then I'm not going to have issues. I can just go and get it from my backup folder. So that's going to be chugging away in the background. It says not responding, but it's just looking at stuff. Don't worry. Um, why it can't move those, I'll deal with that in a minute. I think I know what that might be. Um, let's just leave this. I'll pause the video and... Uh, get back to you because I don't want to take up hard drive space of me recording a progress bar just to speed it up for you guys because you don't need to see a progress bar. If any other windows pop up I will um, bring the video back uh, and show you what they are. So let's just pause the video. So a couple of things have come up here on the scan results. Um, so it's saying that beat mania um, is there's a problem here, might be missing. Um, when the scan's finished, we can hit the little plus symbol and um, expand and see what the issues are there. But I'm not too concerned about that. We'll get them. It's fine. Coming back in for a little bit. So 57% <clears throat> through. And we can see we've got Chess Challenger uh, is missing something. And Discs of Tron is missing, missing something as well. Um, so... While it's doing the scan, um, you can check these scan results if you wanted to, but I'm not going to do it until um, it's finished. Okay, so I'm just going to drop out of this again, so you don't want to see the progress bar. Okay, the scan is complete. Let's have a look at the results. I've got one set missing, seven ROMs, five CHDs, um, didn't do samples, okay? So let's, mi let's fix the missing stuff, okay? Um, first of all, uh, I had some warnings come up, so we can't move that to um, to there. Okay, so this could be a permissions issue with the folder. So let's go to the main ROMs, um, and I'm just going to go back. I'm going to right-click on main ROMs and do properties. And you hear it says says read only. Okay, turn that off. Apply. Apply changes to this folder, subfolders, and files. Okay. It's going to take a little moment. Not saying that this is the issue, but it could be the issue. I've had this before when trying to do archiving from... Um, well, I archive all my stuff every month, um, and I've had issues where stuff can't be copied, so this might be the problem. I don't know. Let's find out. Choose OK. Go back into main rhymes. So we've got that ready. Let's minimise that. Let's close that. So what have we got missing? Um, we've got... Um, Missing CHD, should have left that open because I could see what was missing. 
Okay, so we've got Beatmania CHDs missing. Let's have a look and see if they're in here. Not in BM3, is that Beatmania? Have a look what names we've got. We're missing CHDs. Um, starts with D8625. None of those GCs. So it's going to be this one. BM, here we go. Um, not going to be too concerned about that at this point. Um, chess Challenger, what's missing there? Missing ROM. CN, yada, 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 yada. Okay. And missing, ooh, quite a lot of things from disc, Discs of Tron upright. So sometimes if I've got an individual missing ROM, <clears throat> as I've just scanned all of my update files, Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use Google and I'm going to find all these missing bits, um, these individual ROMs, and see if I can find these CHDs. Oh, I do have a GC, 992. Oh, I do have those. Looking in the wrong place. <laughs> okay, so GC 992, JAA. Right, let's um, find these Discs of Tron missing stuff with Google and I'll come back to you once I've found those. Uh, so pausing the video once more time and I'll find the Chess Challenger one as well. Um, so give me a moment. Okay, back in the room. So I've used Google to find um, these missing bits that have come up here. Um, these CHDs in the wrong place I've discovered actually. Um, perhaps I didn't copy them across. It might be related to the fact that, as you can see here, certain things could not be moved. Okay, so this is missing because it hasn't been moved. Okay, so let's go to, let's close the scanner. And we're going to rebuild. And I'm going to go to um, these missing bits that I found with Google. Copy and paste in there. And -la 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 rebuild. Created six files. Whoop, whoop. Okay, so it's added the things that I needed. Choose OK. Uh, let's close the rebuilder. And let's do the scanner again. And remember last time I did um, change the permissions of that folder to be to not be read only. So hopefully those CHDs will move. If it doesn't do it, then I'll just do them manually. Let's have a go. So sets wrong CHDs, fix anything that's wrong. Make sure on the, I'm on the right sets, so I'm non-merge sets and new scan. Um, okay, file, wrong place, in the right place, move, yes. Yes to all. Okay, no warnings came up that time, so I'm hoping that little fix of right-clicking my folder and choosing uh, to turn off read-only have fixed the issue. Okay, we've got one thing come up, set existing various paths. Ah, yes. So I had a problem um, a while ago with this MM1 keyboard kept on coming up and saying it was missing, so I just chucked it in a couple of different places. Um, not too bothered about that one up there. I could delete one of them. Shall I do it? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Our oh, hyperspin emulators, main master, samples, MM keyboard. That's finished. Okay. Ooh, so this is looking better. Let's have a look. Uh, we are missing now one CHD. So we're looking for B44JAA01. So update CHDs. Okay, let's have a look in my ClearMain Pro backups folder. Backup main. B44JAA01.CHD Thar she blows. Okay, so let's chuck that in the main ROMs folder. Let's do it from here. Um, hyperspin ROMs, main ROMs. And let's chuck it in there. Okay, let's close the scanner. 
close that and let's do another scan and just double check them on non-merged sets I don't want it to fix anything that's wrong so this is in the wrong place yes to all so it's found it now I won't speed this up because it's not going to take very long it's just scanning through everything and the progress bar is going to fly by here we go here comes the progress bar maybe I'll speed it up a little bit maybe I'll talk for a little bit who knows okay back in the room um, scans almost finished and excellent let's have a look statistics set zero missing zero roms missing zero chds missing I don't care too much about samples I think it was 132 missing last time whatever it was um, as you can see these are all zero at the front nothing is missing I have everything that I need for MAME 230 that last scan 56 seconds rather than 15 minutes okay okay so that is my MAME updated so what we're going to do now is going to, we're going to update HB MAME okay so we're going to do a profile and we're going to start again with a new one and this is going to be um, HB MAME check my dates on this I've got a few versions knocking about here let's get rid of some older that's December let's delete that let's delete that okay MAME UI HB MAME execute okay this is downloaded this is the latest so HB MAME.exe description this is going to be HB MAME 227 to 230 now earlier I said I'm on 228 actually with HB MAME when I was looking at my folders I made a mistake I was actually on 227 so I had to restore um, the download of the, the update ROMs for 227 I've done that while you don't have to see it happen so emulator we're going to leave as MAME even though it's HB MAME um, because the reason why is when it creates uh, its database it runs a command line um, command um, in order to create that database and HB MAME runs in the same way as MAME so I'm going to hit create profile and save it in profiles now it is there you can see nothing scanned because it says not scanned if we double click it it's going to run a little scan and there we go it's off it won't take too long HB MAME is not that big um, but I will software list detected no um, yep okay to all yep okay to all always do that yes okay that's done now I used merge sets for HB MAME it seems to be the way it's distributed so um, let's go to scanner make sure we're set on merge sets okay close the scanner now we're gonna go to rebuilder and we have not set ROM paths so let's close that let's go to settings and ROM paths we're going to add HB main ROMs and close that and now we're going to go to rebuilder and there we go ROM paths is set on there source we're going to go to HB main ROMs 227 to 228 See what you could do if you want to do this quicker is you could go to this copy all of these into a folder go to this copy all of those into the same folder copy these into the same folder and then in here you just add your path to that folder that you copy them all into um, I like to do it step by step so I'm not messing anything up okay merge sets is what I'll be using down here um, and we are good to go let's do rebuild and here we go like I said HB MAME is not too big so it will go a lot quicker here we go so it's created some I'm happy let's move on to the next one let's make things a lot quicker let's just go to here copy this path go in here paste the path rebuild while we're doing that let's go back here copy this path copy close here paste rebuild ok 
Okay, that is done. Let's um, scan it and see what we're missing. Scanner. Um, we're going to fix. Merge sets. Don't need samples. And there's no CHDs in HP MAME. So uh, let's do it. Uh, yep, to all. That might come up again. And again, if anything's missing here, we might have to use Google to grab a couple of bits. You can see on the last, when we did the MAME update, we had to grab those things from the internet. Um, <clears throat> uh, but for HB MAME, hopefully we won't have to do anything. If something comes up, we'll find out. Oh, we'll speed up this bit of the video. Okay, that's finished. <clears throat> we have nothing missing. So HB MAME and MAME are now updated and we can close the scanner and we can close CLR MAME Pro. So the next bit of the video, I'm going to take you through how to um, create your XMLs for Hyperspin, okay, which is the front end that I use for my arcade stuff. So I don't need this open, don't need this open. Well, I do. Let's go applications. Um, so the two applications I use for um, XMLs, um, I'm going to use main XML full list generator. Now this is made by a guy called Romano, and I believe he is French, um, or French speaking at least. Um, so this is his uh, website here. Main XML list and application updated. Um, this is what we're going to be downloading or have downloaded called MAME XML, okay? The MAME XML generator. So I'll take you through how we use that. So let's have a look. We're going to run MAME XML. Okay, so there's a couple of things that you need in place for this to work properly, okay? Patience is the first thing because MAME is released on the last, generally, generally, the last Wednesday of every month. Um, and what happens is a guy at, let's go to there, Progresso Snaps, um, they create something called Catvert. Catvert, there we go. So, um, Cat list, category list, category version, genre any, and mature any, 230. So this is updated um, generally a week or so after MAME comes out, okay? MAME XML full list generator relies on Catver to be able to take the XML um, and categorize things so you can have genres, players, manufacturers, years, etc., and create XML for each of those things. If Catver isn't updated to the version that you're trying to create your XML for, it will not work. When you run it, it will say um, uh, Catver does not match your version of MAME. Simple as that. Okay. I have waited for 2.30 to start before I make this video. So MAME executable path. Earlier on I said about I use um, MAME UI, but I do have a copy of MAME on my hard drive as well because main full list generator needs main to run rather than main UI as far as I know it works for me so I'm gonna go with that so main execute okay again je pump donc je suis I pump because I am I think um, je ne pas français so Again, patience, we have to wait for these guys to do a little bit of pumping. So what's happening is um, the application is now creating a database um, or games list database so we can actually use this application to create our Hyperspin XML. So I will speed up this bit of the video because you can see we are up to 10% already, um, but you don't want to see this go up, so let's speed up. Okay, jumping back in, we're on 99%, 100%. Database is done, so it's asking us here, where do we want to save our XMLs? Let's choose a location. So we've got our main torrents folder. Let's create a new folder in here, and we'll call it 
Um, MAME XMLs. Okay. Um, here we have, so that's ready to go. We're going to choose, um, we can create some other XMLs. So if I just hit go now, it will create my hyperspin XML. Okay. But I like to use um, genres and years and categories and things like that. So I'm going to choose um, all of them. Okay. But working, I don't want to see ones that um, don't work. Um, genres. Okay. Choose. Well, these are the genres I can choose on my arcade. So I'm going to choose all of them and just working. Players. Um, I've only got a two-person arcade, but I can plug in two extra joy pads. So I'm going to choose working, one player, two player alternate, so you take it in turns, two player simultaneous, three player alternate, three player simultaneous, four player alternate, four player simultaneous. And if we're going alternate, we can choose all of these because um, we take it in turns on uh, player number one. Okay. Um, manufacturers uh, choose all of them working. Extras. Let's have a look what the options are. Best games, screen, cheats. Yeah, I don't want any of that stuff really. I'm just going to choose none. And then this is a little information about um, Langlois. Lang Langlois. Langlois Lormain. Um, there you go. He's. That's a very French name, I believe. Um, but there you go. You can. There's other stuff in here we can do. Um, so that's information about his website. You know, give him a bit of PayPal if you want. Um, then we hit go. What it's going to do? Da -da 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 -da, auto download all necessary any files. So it's asking us if it's okay to use the internet to download what we need. Okay. Before this didn't used to come up. It does nowadays. And what it's going to do is it's going to go to Progresso Snaps and look for that cat ver. Um, and the genre any and all of that stuff and it will show up here so getting lists so choose OK downloading Progresso Snaps Catver any um, so if you had the wrong version of main versus Catver then this would come up here with a little warning to say you've got the wrong version I needed to have clicked that one second stop let's click that first Okay, this is the latest version, it's beta. There seems to be a bit of a glitch. I'm going to reopen it. This is what happens when you make mistakes and you don't check things. Okay, I should have checked that. Let's close it. All right, so that's finished. I'll go through the process. First thing I will do is click the thing that I forgot last time working. And I'll quickly do everything that I did before, but speed it up. Okay, so that's done. Um, I have definitely ticked this this time and I click go. And it's going to ask that again. And then downloading from Catver, any. And there we go to go. It's going to download all the necessary things it needs. And off it goes. And as you can see, this takes quite a while. Okay, about an hour or so to go. Um, quite a few games to scan. Catver is up to date. It says it's checked the date and everything. Um, it's downloaded N players any um, from N players arcade Belgium. N players any, um, and we're just going to leave that going, and I'll speed up this part of the video. Okay, so that is done. One hour and fourteen minutes, sixteen seconds later. So what has this produced? Let's have a look. Um, so we saved it to this location here. Okay, let's copy that. Oop, copy. And let's go to a folder. And we'll paste that in. So we have working games. So we have our main main XML. We've got all the different genres as XMLs. We've got manufacturers. Um, we've got players. Um, and we've got years okay so let's have a look at the main main xml if you know anything about xmls you'll know basically you have the game uh, the description of what it will show up like in hyperspin you've got the little text at the bottom left who the manufacturer is what year it is what the genre is and whether it's enabled or not i.e you can play it um and there we go 
everything's in order of the description, i.e. the name of the game. So one thing to be aware of with regards to genres, if I look at genres here, um, in each of these folders, genres, manufacturers, players, there will be a genre XML and that lists um, basically all the different genres within that folder, all the different categories within that folder. So if we look at, for example, uh, players, genre, XML, we've got these, all the different types we've got here. For some reason, it always ends up with all of these kind of ones here, just, you know, all of these games, we've got all of these menu things at the bottom, hundreds of them, yes, these all start and they end. Um, if you know anything about XMLs, if you open up something here, you've got to close it at the bottom and probably has a better name. But um, So because I'm a little bit picky, I like to clean these up a little bit. And also I'm going to combine them um, so that Hyperspin sees them in a better fashion. So um, first of all, let's put this MAME XML, the main MAME XML, this one here in the correct place. So um, hopefully you know how to do that. But if not, let me uh, show you. Uh, hyperspin folder and we've got our databases and we're going to go to MAME so here you see there are a lot in here okay this is all my previous versions of my XMLs um, but we have one in here the main one MAME.XML now I never delete my old one I call it old um, and are you sure you want to change it? Yes, so it's no longer a valid file. The extension's been changed. And what I'll then do, let's just close these, um, is I will take my um, XML file that I created. Okay, MAME XMLs. Here we go. Right. So I'm going to move this over to here. But before I do, Hyperspin's not going to know what it is, so we're going to call it main XML and we can chuck that in here okay um, now you can see here I've got all my different types I've got my manufacturers I've got my um, kind of genres in here as well and my genre XML here um, basically all I've done is I've got my all games and I've got all my manufacturers and my actual genres and things all blended into the same XML. In order to do that, and I've got a close at the bottom here and I've got an open at the top here. Double click on that at the bottom it will show me that they are linked. Okay, So I use Notepad++ to edit XML files. I recommend doing the same. Google it, download it, use it. So um, I'll show you how I created this. I don't need to do much change because there's nothing's been added really. Um, if I go to my uh, genres, click double click on genre. It's this one here. All I'm going to do is get rid of all this stuff at the top. It's not needed. I'll keep one all games actually. Let's get rid of those. Make sure that's all lined up neatly. Let's get rid of all of this stuff at the bottom. Uh, and then I'm going to add um, the other stuff. So I'm going to go to manufacturers. And I'll go to genre and I'll get rid of all of this and I'm just going to grab these. Command C, sorry, Control C to copy. And let's paste that in at the bottom. And then I'm going to go to players, genre, take that bit, Control C, Control V. And then we're going to go to years. Genre. So you look at all of those. Uh, loads and loads and loads of lines of just all games. Don't know what is that mess? Don't know why it does it, but it does it. And we're going to copy that. And we're going to go to genre. And we're going to chuck that at the end. Oops. And there we go. So that's combined. Um, all of those together. So now I'm going to, so that one is the one that was in the genres folder here. So you can see that's dated two o'clock, right? If I save this, 
Control S to save. We can see now 227. Right, so let's just move this over to here. Replace. And then let's take all of these apart from genre. Just move that and move it over here. So we're updating all of these XMLs with any new files, new games that may have been added. Working games manufacturers. Select all of those. Move that over. Replace. Players. Control A. Take off genre. Chuck that in. Years. And replace. Okay. Right. Um, interesting. There's no 2010 to 220. Oh, because it's 2021. There you go. Fair enough. Um, what I'll probably do is get rid of that 2021. Because that covers it. Right. Um, so that's my Hyperspin databases updated. That's main done. Now, HB main. Slightly different. Um, I'm just going to leave that old. I can get rid of that old one there. So, unfortunately, MAME XML Full List Generator does not work with HB MAME. Okay, it's a real shame. Well, the reason why really is catver, uh, nplayers.ini, and all of this stuff is related to MAME, not HB MAME. So, the databases wouldn't work together. So, I have to use a different application. And what I use is a very, very old application called ROM Lister. Okay. I'll put this in the description down below. So ROM Lister uh, is a way of creating your um, ROMs. Um, so similar kind of idea, but let's have a little look and I'll show you how we do it. Okay. When you open up ROM Lister for the first time, this will show up. Let's just close Notepad++. Plus plus. Okay. Um, Hit the settings button to select an input file. Okay, settings and tools. So what we need to do is give it an XML um, in order for it to basically look at our ROMs folder and see which ROMs we have. We're going to have to create that XML. Okay, um, so command prompt. Okay, if you don't know how to get to that, you should do if you're looking at this video, just type CMD into your search and open up command prompt. What you need to type into your command prompt is this. So your HB MAME game. Okay, let's just have a look. I'll show you where we're at. Um, let's go to Hyperspin, Emulators, HB MAME Master. And we've got HB MAME UI, HB MAME UI.execute. So let's just adjust that. Okay, that's 31st of March. That's the latest version. So HBMI, HBMAMUI.execute, list XML. Right, so what we're doing is we're, we're using this application to create a list XML, and that's the information of all the ROMs in HBMAME, and we're outputting it to a file called listxml.xml. So if we run that, that happens in a flash, and we now have this appear in our folder. So what we're going to do is we're going to add this to ROM Lister. So just copied this link at the top, paste, and we're going to add at the end list xml.xml. Yep, that's the file we just created here. Um, and then just click elsewhere, hit enter. Oh, you fussy little thing. You're going to have to use the browse thing. Okay, paste. There you go. Um, some buttons below will be disabled until you press the set, the set button. Don't worry about all of this stuff. I know I've got stuff here already. That's not needed. Um, then we're going to hit set. Because you are not using a merged input file, you will not be able to use category fields for filtering. What it's saying is we it's asking for, I'll show you, it's asking you to use this merge um, utility. So controls XML, cat verini, 
nplayers.ini. This is related to MAME. Okay, it's not related to HB MAME. So this stuff here is irrelevant. We've created our own XML. Okay. If you want to use genres with HB main, there's probably another way to go around it. I don't know. I don't use it. Um, so yeah, sorry about that. So this is the default settings. What we're going to do, available joysticks and controls. I'm just going to turn everything off here because I want to create a database of all the games in HB main. I don't want to be too fussy about um, what's what. I don't want games that only use two buttons. I'll stick it on the maximum, 16. All of this is greyed out, greyed out. Don't care, i.e., just give me everything. Okay, I haven't checked anything specific. Okay, apart from gay play buttons, 16 buttons or less. I don't want only games with 16. Then I hit go. So, what it's doing now is it is looking at um, the XML file and it's looking for matches in relation, relation to what I've checked on here. If I've checked nothing, then it's going to come up here with all the games we've got in HB main. Okay. At the bottom here it says, what do you want to create? Well, I want to create a hyperspin XML. And we're going to save list to file. And we're going to go to hyperspin, databases, HB main. Let's rename this one as old. And we are going to save. So that creates the list. Okay, let's have a little look at it. Databases, HB main, HB main XML. And there we go. Standard HB, um, Hyperspin XML. That should now have all of those things working. So that was ROM Lister. So now HB main and um, MAME are updated. If I just open up Hyperspin, let's go to HB MAME for a start. And there we go. Bit of media missing there. We'll find that another time. What is that? 16 step simple sequencer. Hmm. Probably not ever going to use that. I'll probably take that out. But here we go. Yeah. So you may see we've got repetitions here because it's using the same icon. But the text down the bottom the Battle of Midway Euro, Battle of Midway, Bootleg Set 2, Hack of Japan, Seher, Bootleg. You know, so the slightly different versions, even though it's the same icon, make sure with HB MAME you're using that blue text to see what you're actually playing. Because HB MAME has many versions of the same game that have been hacked slightly. Okay. Right, let's have a little look at MAME to make sure that's working. I always open up because if you open MAME and the XML doesn't work, it will tell you. XML's fine. Yep, there's all my games in MAME. Have a look at my... Ooh, so I pressed Z, I pressed G and it said MAME XML is invalid. So there's something up with my genres um, XML. What could that be? Let's have a look. Uh, hyperspin databases MAME genre. And that opens fine. Ah, all this stuff at the bottom. Get rid of that. Let's save. Let's get rid of those two lines at the bottom, make it nice and neat. Save. Close that. Let's try again. Okay, there we go, press G. 
fixed it so all that gump at the bottom that it's created I just had to clean that out and you can see now we've got all of our different types of genres in here um, that we can play so there we go done that is how you update MAME and HB MAME to the latest version using clear MAME Pro cleaning up all of your uh, files and creating your hyperspin folders um, hyperspin XMLs as well any questions do leave them in the comments um, happy to change make any changes um, I think I need to look at the genre thing because that didn't seem to be working as I expected but I have a feeling I know what that is yeah Cheers, and that's it for now. Adios.